Okay, today in the next session I'll be doing the course um, and I'll start uh, repeating some things. But this section is about um, the Kung Semi group, which has already been introduced. But I'll start with the classical definition. Um, Uh, and set up the views where a sister object and um, we find a as in host and infinity a model of control equivalence where uh, matrices a Oops, positive matrices A and B in A, we see A is equivalent to B if A is equivalent to B and B is equivalent to B. And this is a Possibility or the uh, with the operations given by uh, A and B, each is going to be and A plus B. Sorry, um, okay, uh, positively ordered, probably you didn't introduce the term, the term but it's only that it's an order monoid, so this addition is compatible with, uh, with this order and you are only using that all elements are positive. Um, I wanted to uh, highlight in, in here something, uh, observe something that uh, when we are defining the addition, we are going to matrices by putting uh, the elements orthogonally, so one doesn't have to care much to see that uh, this is well defined and compatible with, uh, with the relation because you do the things orthogonally. But this, um, this addition is already implemented in in or is already compatible with the uh, Kuhn relation uh, um, I'm sorry, addition is well defined over orthogonal elements and sometimes uh, if the elements are orthogonal we we'll use the fact that there's, their addition is the same. So let me write this down. And I'll try to do it without going to matrices. Yes. And B is on top of our what A B C D. B B C D positive elements and B orthogonal to a does B3. Well, they are positive elements. Um, uh, then A plus C is going to be equivalent to B plus D. Um, indeed. Um, you want to add C to the also? No, there'll be below here. Oh. 
Indeed, I first note that. Uh, so any that continuous function of the rationals with I over the reals with. Uh, that sends zero to zero, we have that f of b plus d equals f of b plus f of d. This is because uh, f is a limit means With um, f is produced in functional calculus, well, these expressions are produced in functional calculus as limits of polynomials which send zero to zero. And for each for each polynomial well, for each monomial, since b and d are orthogonal, this is b k to the k, and then the result follows. And this, uh, moreover, and b is our top one, b, b is also top to f b. So everything is, uh, is our top one. Technically, we're, we're doing the, the idea is that you can do the things like kind of diagonally. So, if means okay, to B, C, to D, then we say that it's the name infinity XN to star, name infinity. The same goes for C. And you can add these expressions because, uh, well, since if, if well, I, obviously I can add. Um, the same. This uh, is exactly the same as example. times because everything here, this is orthogonal to to all this part and goes. Right, and this is B to the one third. Again, we'll just call this things Zn. This is Zn. I'm mixing two stars, yeah. Sorry. And again, eh, this is functional calculus. This is B plus B to the one third. So this tells us that A plus D is super equivalent to uh, B plus D to the one third. And we have already seen that this is already equivalent to B plus D because uh, this. These two things have the same support. Okay, so, okay. We wanted to say that you can do this without the need to go in, to go into matrices because you can also write this as product of uh, matrices. Okay. Um, some. Examples. 
Uh, and I'll start with the easiest example. You can take A, B, and A. Recall that uh, A, B, A, and A is usually going to be along with rank. Uh, a is equal rank B. I think you did that. So um, we have a natural map that goes A. It's an isomorphism. Takes any element A to rank A. Okay, um, so, so so note that the unit A goes to in this case to K. So if we want to distinguish If we want to normalize the isomorphisms, we will write that this is isomorphic to one over k n. That's just sending sending the unit to the unit. Then this this cuts things out. Um, okay, then that's the easiest example. And now the other one, the x. Yeah, locally converted space and A to be the continuous functions next. Then that's commutative system algebra. Then note that. Um, and the change A can somehow be seen as a continuous function X to M infinity of C. Right, so so we will think uh, about elements in here as uh, matrices. I as a function from X to infinite matrices. Uh, no, because uh, these are all bounded. So so all each of all the elements in here live in finite matrices, which will not be true in here unless X is unless X is compact. Mm. Okay, um, so, um, anybody here? Mm -hmm. okay. Then first define a map. Um, Okay. And that was from the W of A giving function uh, and equivalent this we assign it uh, as a function three. F it's X, you go to N and to X, X 
you assign it a rank of fx, sorry. So I wanted to see metric is in here as function, so which function you can assign to it the, the function that takes x to its rank. So this, not that uh, rank, lower semicolon signals, right? So if uh, if rank of f of x is greater than k, so you can find uh, say uh, submatrix so of f of x as the terminant different from zero, and since the f is continuous, then there exists an open set, which is in here, such that one f of a will a for all x in for all in ux. And so the rank is lower semi-continuous. The idea is that the, the type of functions that we obtain are not all functions, but um, lower semi-continuous functions that go from x to n. Okay. No. What do I need to say from this? So first, uh, well, and then easily, uh, one can see that uh, is an Okay, so it's, it's easy to see that uh, this is an ordered monoid morphism because uh, these things clearly, the rank of these things is the sum of the things. And, and whenever you have good subequivalence, this implies that things point-wise will be, will be compared. Okay, so the ordering here is, uh, is defined point-wise. So this final. Um, Try to see some things. Is this subjective? Oh, well, clearly it's not going to be subjective uh, unless it's written now. Note that even F in, in the of A, uh, And this is what and that already says that okay, this is this is telling us that uh phi uh that So unless x is compact, these are not going to be all functions. Let's say that these are bounded. And um, this another inconvenient, not that if we have n in f. By in here, then by um, if we have a lower semi continuous function, uh, then by will be the
Okay, so lower, lower semi-continuous function into the natural numbers and the uh, bounded one, it's a finite sum, this is, uh, this is finite, as we'll see, of characteristic functions, one over n, that's a characteristic function of the open U n where U n is five minus one of um, that's that's the very much of this of this open set. Right. Okay. Yeah. So um, and and those are those are um, those are open sets because this is lower semi-continuous. So the same images are all are all open sets now. It shows I goes from X to well, let's make it positive with uh, support UN. Then uh, I of this element F, I don't know. And you you write them diagonally so you really get the things to add up will be five because the the image of this thing is a, a round one not will be exactly these things. But but we can always so you can really get if it is is neutralizable, for example, that will do, but uh we only have second countable. And uh, I wanted to stress this because this will show up some particularities of these semi groups of the things that we can we can do. Not that um uh, We have a positive map, uh, and then open support of that is the union, say, of the open support of F minus one over, right? You can you have a map, so we will then kind of. Uh, Slightly reduce it, and uh, the support of this map will be the union of these uh, of, of these maps, and um, what that support and plus this is contained in the support minus one over. 
in verse oh yeah, this is contained in the, the closer of this thing which is still contained in support the open support of f minus one Okay, and um, yeah, the thing is that these things be uh, since f is uh, since f is in C zero of x, these things would be compact, right? And uh, and what we get with that U sub M is the union right? So um, this is this is like a Sigma compact. Uh, so if the space is sigma compact, that's uh, all, L, all open sets can be written as uh, countable units of compact subsets, then uh, the map will be surjective. So KDN yeah. is this compact set. Sorry? KDN is this cool. Uh, yeah, for, for example. So then this is a property that we say you can approximate the elements by compact subsets. And this kind of approximation will appear when we when we discuss the category CU. Um, okay, so what we have is that um, this map was subjective onto the bounded over things over n, right? This one, this. So what we get is lower semi-continuous maps uh, with bounded support. The boundedness uh, disappears if x is compact, and uh, the sigma compact odd also disappears if this is, for example, matrizable. So we, we, we will typically won't care about this, this restriction. Um, okay. And Is what? So the next question will be, is this an order embedding? That is, if two functions compare here, do they compare on W of A? Uh, well, uh, essentially, It will not always be, most of the time, will not be another embedding. Um, some ideas. If, 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 what we're doing is that we are looking at the at the at Cook's comparison locally. And this is to say that uh, F of x is this is even on the if 
f of x is super given to g of x from x to x. Okay, so these two things we're comparing point wise, and we want to see if this implies that f control given a machine. And well, what would you do? Uh, we'll fix an epsilon. And for all the x, we want to change it. Eh? For all x, uh, we're going to fix element ax. Actually, here, such that um, the ideas I'll be writing here to not only apply to when we're doing with lower semi-continuous functions up to natural numbers, or sometimes when we have lower semi-continuous function from X to a general uh, semi-group, which will be like a uh, semi-group of the continuous functions from X to A. Uh, so we have a matrix such that um, F of X, and this thing that used to be locally in this in in a certain fiber, let's say in f of x, this can be extended. Right? If you have d of x, you can choose a continuous function. Uh, that passes through this element. I'll trick to do. So it will choose a function. So the x, that's And uh, then you get, uh, since this is, uh, since this is close to this, this will happen locally. So then we get uh, open checks. Y BX of star. Okay, so this comparison is here. We can make it locally. Um, okay, otherwise, well, it's not that, that different, but. So once you have to done this for a lot of for each point and using my compactness. We get a finite number of E1 when with elements E1 with functions, E1 of X, the of X. And then uh, we choose lambda i. Uh, that's a finite covering. So by compactness, you get a finite covering. You get lambda i uh, partition. Of unity associated. To, the, to discover this is something that says x is
Uh, this is a constant function equal to one for OK and the support of the lambda sub i in u sub i. And then you build a function. So these things that you're doing locally, you somehow glue them. You, you define d to be the sum of the the i. And then you kind of hope that uh, f minus d is um, But essentially, this is not always going to work, right? Because when you close things here, and so something might go wrong. And this is what happens. Now you saw how usually not, because the things that you're the way you're gluing functions here. But uh, So, imagine we have uh, one of these U ones, which is this open set, and then U2, which is this other open set, and you can point in here in X, right? So, for this uh, thing, you will have that. So, this will fail usually because the, the gluing of the uh, comparison, the, the, the way you compare things in here and here uh, are kind of different. But if you have, how is it called? F of x minus the one one star. Okay, so so you get that these things, you get two different approximations on points in the intersection, but uh, this is a uh, this is something that Frances already did, and in the case of stable rank one, if or or stable rank one, or if you have a a, a dense number of i, uh, you have some density of of uh, unitaries, let's say this is like into into star, and this is the one in star. If these two things are close, which they will be, if they are both close to here, then you can pass from A1 to A2 by, by multiplying by a unitary. So you can do this on the fibers and somehow Lifting units, you can locally you can find unitized such that uh, u one well, such that u one minus u so it's also it's also close, right? so that, that these things are, are close. This unitary is that you will find if you're all uh, if you're um, if they are not too many. Uh, 
Okay, so what what is this meaning? So okay, we just had an idea, but we'll start to deal with unitaries. These are unitaries will be defined on the fibers and you want to leave them. So if there are no many obstructions in K1, you can uh, leave <laughs> Unitaries to continuous functions over X in, in actually um, actually if there are no obstructions because you don't have obstructions in here in, in K1, but if, if you have uh, any C star algebra and that will also be the true, that you can leave the unitaries in in X in X and then kind of uh, Let's say things are called the D2 prime. And this would be somewhere nicer to, to deal with this thing, right? Because you will you will be well, kind of somehow be gluing these these two different approximations. And well, this is one thing you need to build the unitaries so you can change them. But here I've been done as something that's very yeah, very simple as I only have two intersections and also we would make uh polish of things and the idea that uh Say, in, imagine you have a you have a circle, and you start building u one, u two. So you start uh, changing all the unitaries, right? You start with one. You, you change it by flipping the unitaries. But once you build u k, so you don't really know how to continue here. So you will, you will be like. Uh, Gluing things, you glue this one with the next one, with the next one, with the next one, with the next one. When you go back here, you have to change again the, the one from the beginning. So this will usually do some inconvenience. Uh, okay. Now that is, that's where I wrote uh, some ideas because there's the things that they appear here. It is, we can really get that if this is very simple. This is actually for continuous functions zero one to n. Uh, if we have the circle, this is also lowest in continuous functions. To n, you will have this problem, but, but the thing is that there are not many unitaries. So the unitaries that you'll find at the end, they, they already uh, close to or connected to the one you would have chosen be, at the beginning. So this still works, but something is in here. But uh, for example, and, uh, okay, so this is not a, this is not going to work. So you get a two sphere, for example. Uh, okay. So, Uh, this is for groups and Eagleton examples. Now I wanted to do part about uh, 
of course the traces. And uh, for this, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll prove a theorem that Frances has already uh, shown. Um, think to units of some star algebra. It's uh, objective. First, I'll need this is not the theorem. Eh? This is something I'll need. It's also like Kunz and Blaga Handelman. There is a bijective. It's also it's quite easy to find, but turns out we won't be dealing with the topologies involved. And uh, there's a bijective correspondence between the sets, lower significant integers, which you find from A, and the traces of A. Okay, Frances already wrote down which one is the correspondence. This um, will be the key tool to prove all theory in existence of quasi traces. Let's say we have a quasi trace if and only uh, the, the algebra is uh, stably finite. And for this, well, what we'll do is uh, use the stable finiteness to define uh, lower semi-continuous dimension function, which will imply the existence of the quasi trace. I wanted to do the details of this, and I see that this will take me, and this will take me some time. Let me, um, let me say a couple of things we will need. Composition. All right. All the composition is not something that uh, works in a sister algebra, but uh, in greater space. But, but it's also, it can always be dual because, as Frances showed, you can always embed um, sister algebra on B of H. So given as with and H given um composition. H and embedding the sister algebra A in the H such can use. Algebra. I, I will only state on Hey, there exists B.
He, he lives in a, in a bigger space, not in the sister algebra. You'll have to put these in BF8 and then look for some elements in here, but, we'll also, but we can use it uh, as we'll see now. We have an element, there exists a partial isometry, be here, search that. <coughs> Search that A. Ah, sorry, let me name it. Thanks. Okay, it will yet. What? What? Okay, so then. Uh, X equals that this is usually the limiting that's limitation. And so that's that's the norm of X is star X to the one half. And from there. Okay, so this is the partial isometry uh, for an element of the sister algebra. Note that this does not live in the sister algebra, but you can actually use it. And somehow, once that B acts on this element, it disappears. Right? So it's B multiplied for the X, and X, and also B starts with the X. Um, I want to see all of the. We have um, it's star. So you have this. So if you multiply x times x star, you get uh, v x star x v star and So we have these two things. Not that the partial isometry somehow flips these two elements, and also V star V is the unit for uh, uh, the norm of X. Then um, I want this to prove following them. Yeah. Then, then um, why okay. well, search equals y okay um can can prove this so, okay. 
Why e times uh, f of Not that f of x star x to the one half. This leaves in the this uh, by functional calcul is a limit of polynomials uh, with this x star x. And since uh, well, this is only the the square. Uh, I mean the, the square root of here can okay, take it from the left side, and this will give you things that are already in the algebra. This would be a. And then y for star equals f of star. By the observation, since v d star is flipping x star x to x x star. And this is a limit of polynomials in x star x. This is the, it's f of x star. And conversely, this is f of x one half star. The one half, but B star B is a B star B is a unit for normal flex, which is what you have from here on the, on the left. So this these are the unit in here. So it's just, it's, 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 okay. So then I'll. I'll prove uh, the theorem then, but I will I will make this this lemma at a couple of points. So I do a break, ten minutes break. So this is the uh, theorem. Actually, Cohen's also did uh, some part of it, and uh, correspondence. Uh, Frances already is. Written some things if you have a function of under here, you will be fine. So, this is given this way as tau lambda of an element A is positive A is infinite from zero to infinity lambda of A minus. T positive elements and given a trace and uh, that's the detail you define it in Francis defined it the other day. Right? Um okay. So so Okay, so let's uh, prove. First, let's see if that um, even tau, what the trace, that d tau is. Uh, Always continuous dimension function. Uh, 
Riz, Riz, uh, by Riz representation result, uh, we have that if we restrict tau to the C star algebra uh, to be any um, any commutative sister algebra. Uh, I, I'm, I'm saying unital because uh, Frances stated the theorem for compact sets. So uh, I'll. Um, you recall that any community sister algebra, then this would be a continuous functions over over some compact uh, set in this case. Uh, so if B is any community sister algebra, then tau restricted to B is given by So, in some measure, okay. So, uh, so. If we commute, yeah, uh, V and B are orthogonal. If A is orthogonal to B, then setting the, if A is orthogonal to B, then in particular they commute. So take the C star algebra and verify A, B, and 1. And then uh, taking this is algebra in square uh, on the one side. Uh, oops, plus p of p plus p of p, and also. And it's all. It's all, uh, A is the soap of A. I don't need the B in the one. T tells A minus epsilon plus. Okay, because, um, uh, sorry, once this is given by integration, not that uh, detail of, I haven't read of what is the detail, detail of F is uh, So uh, this our vet is uh, is uh, is this integral which uh, converges to the measure uh, the measure of the support of the function, right? Because they are, they are only uh, measuring support. So if two functions uh, are orthogonal, then uh, as functions, they will have uh, these joint supports, and uh, that this will, will then be clear. And also this, because the support will be the supremum of these supports. Okay, so this is why this is clear. Moreover,
if uh, A and B mute and or some and then detail of A as well. Detail of B. I think this is the way I wanted to read it. If one of the functions dominates the other, then the, the support of this one will be contained in the support of this. So the details will be uh, comparable. Okay. Uh, clearly, the, the detail of zero and zero, the detail of this one. So we now we need to see. A is to and to be then detail of A is also equal detail of B. Right? Uh, well, first note that um, of A is um, and goes to infinity A. So if we get any xx star, the detail of xx star is the limit when n goes to infinity uh, of uh, tau of x star to 1 over n. But by the lemma, this is, say, some yn y and star. Okay, by the way. By the lemma, each of these things is a, this is a function. Oh, there's something in the functional calculus. This can be read as y n, y n star. But since this is, is a trace, there's a quasi trace. So this is a limit tau of, uh, well, let me, let me write it. This. Okay, so this is a trajectory, so we can change these things. But once they are changing, this gives us tau star x. And this is the tau of x, x. Okay, so this will somehow show that the details respect uh, Murray von Neumann is or Murray von Neumann equivalent. So now we only have to see how good equivalence uh, is defined in terms of Murray von Neumann equivalence. And we know that uh, given A, B, Well, absolutely. Uh, we can write start and let's start. 
x is in the hereditary algebra of B. Yeah, and um, I wanted to cut it down. Sorry. And uh, so, so for each, uh, you can still cut down a little bit the piece. So for each epsilon, there is this delta and element such that a minus epsilon is x star, and this is more even number equivalent to something which is in the hereditary subalgebra of a minus delta plus. Okay, so uh, let's take a, let uh, f tilde be this function so we take the function which is one in, in here that will be a uh, f delta of b will be a unit for this for uh, for this algebra and hence f delta of b X star X equals X star X, which is star X times delta of B. Not only it will be a unit, but this also tells us that it commutes with this. And also, Okay, I don't read that thing. This this already implies. So 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 F delta would be uh and X um, X mute. Uh so if I restrict uh the tau to your sister algebra is generated by this, then it's it's clear that it's clear that as functions, the support of uh, well, not only they commute, but but by this expression, eh? the support of uh, x is contained in the support of f delta of b as uh, the support as fun uh, the open support as functions in the uh, in the sister algebra generated by these two things so this implies that the detail of x is less or equal detail of uh, delta of b, which actually is less or equal detail. Thing. That's that's going to be clear. Huh? Then the one restricting the things of sister algebra generated by B. Uh, I didn't see that these this to compare. I this to commute, but you can then make the same argument here. Um, so I think this already D tau. Is is 
x start but the details i've seen that uh, you can change x start from with x star x that's the detail start which is present of b and then uh, since C is it how of A is the soup of these things. So, um, well, this has these arguments. Okay. Um, So it's partially a uh, function. Okay, so I, I didn't use sorry. And conversely, uh I did transcend with some of the observations already. Um, one then. Um, a, uh, okay, so, um, now that. For each open set, for each sigma compact uh, width, sorry, um, Set this in eh? set and um, now lambda a anything zero from zero infinity to lambda of the minus d plus dt. Um, there is the commutative. C star subalgebra. A uh, and U C one number uh, open in uh, Here, uh, then uh, Lambda uh, okay, so this Lambda are. Uh, So, so if you have a, a sigma compact open set, you take a function which has this open as a support, then define them as a measure as, as this function, this defines a pre-measure uh, on the sigma compact open set in X, uh, that's a sig sigma additive, and this can be C 
extended to a measure XP and in such a way that uh, that this goes well, right? Such that This case we this. measure of forward. Sorry. Of D. Okay, such that this is given by integration. Therefore, uh, this is the system, the, the, the community subsystem algebra. If you restrict to a community subsystem algebra, then um, this is this is this lambda defines a defines a measure, and this is actually integrated with that measure. It will be an easy. Uh, yeah, sorry. This is tau lambda. Mm -hmm. Rho B and B. Okay, so if this is integrated, then uh, we have that tau lambda of um, of uh, ah. Well, so, linear on community algebras, and it would be a, a, a quasi trace, and for a trace identity. Tau lambda of x x star. This is uh, integral from zero infinite. The lambda of x star minus t is dt. But this is actually some y. To the star again by the lemma. So since lambda is invariant on the Kunz equivalent, it's, it's integral of zero. Well, this is why y is t star in such a way that when you change it, this is the star. That's that's the plus. Why is that? Okay. Uh, which is uh, tau lambda of x, uh, whatever. <coughs> and uh, probably I should notice that also. On top of zero, so for it being linear. So, um, is a quasi trace, um, uh, I'm, 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 I'm cheating here. 
and Tao Landa is in But if you uh, take a P and you add a unit, it'll still be community, so we can make it to be compact. And uh, the measure we chose is a, uh, a probability measure. And then uh, this will, will be one. OK, and then. That, so, it um, goes to tau, so it's a tau, and lambda, lambda, this of lambda, this lambda is in the C, I am restricting. Communities. If you restrict to communities of algebra, you can see that these two things commute. Probably there's some things to do, but but uh, I'm trying to be a little bit faster. Okay, so once we have the theorem, then those two theorem and existence of quotient bases. We call okay. Well, that's uh, the main reason why he used the good semi group in order to deal with uh, these things. Uh, let A be um, simple. This the algebra. Then uh, A. It's state infinite, even though if you have at least a quasi trace. So if we have a quasi trace, you can uh, you, you will see that it's state infinite and conversely. Well, probably. We call yeah. it, if for all it's it's one in the last one. Okay, uh, so that's that's the idea of finiteness. This in a simple system algebra, it XXR is a unit, so this cannot be uh, this cannot be properly equivalent to something that is not the unit. Uh, if you have to do this with uh, with finite matrices of the complex numbers, you will use a rank of the function, for example. So this is why you somehow need to to deal some with some rank functions or short dimension functions in this case, which is the one that gives the traces. Uh, 
if this is a thing you will do, huh? let's find an address. If, uh, if you have quasi trace, uh, Um, so let tau be one of these cosmic traces, and then uh, x is uh, equals one once on tau. I yes. eight, then that's that's the one in the matrices. So clearly it is n this is sum of one which is now of this star i. Okay, so this these two things um here they could be commute. Orthogonal, so this is tau of one minus x plus tau of x, x, but this is the same as tau of x, x star, which is one, which is n. So tau of one minus x star x equals zero, and now this is not trivial, but care of uh, tau is an idea. Uh, this uh, can somehow be sketched in the in Matanar underlines paper. And also, Agarup in his study of quasi traces it is not as easy to see that this is uh, the kernel of this is an ideal, but since it is simple, then uh, one minus x equals to Okay, and uh, the other way around, conversely. Suppose it is they will be finite. Um, let S well, we call that dimension functions of A and A, these are. Clearly, in bijection with uh, states on which any group this is also in bijection with the states in K zero. Of a zero star, sorry. So states in the in the Grothendi group. I, I prefer to deal with a uh, with an abelian with an abelian group to define this thing. So what we'll do is to build a to build a sorry to build a. A state in here, and then this will give us a, a 
the dimension function. I didn't do that. But then once you have the dimension function, you can create a lower semi-continuous one. And, uh, and then that's done because the lower semi-continuous one are the pain dots uh, of course it traces. So let uh and using and this is contained in the uh, of A and here, say H1 would be differences of the forms. This is uh, a sub semi group of materials A. Okay. So if we define P of that, P of N. Uh, this is well defined uh, because of stately finiteness uh, of D goes from zero to uh, so natural numbers. So this is well defined since it is stably finite. So note that. If n one super n for some uh, if we had this for something smaller than n, uh, seems since this represents projections, this implies they will be more right than when I so we'll have so we have that's the one matrices in MN, so we give them to the one matrices in M. M so they are more right than when I'm so equivalent. Y in M such that I will start in M one equals uh Y is a sub zero, so it is different from MN, so this is not going to happen because stable finite is. Okay, so this is well defined. So uh, we also is well defined as a function that goes from each one Z
Then there's an extension theorem, some kind of Hambanak thing, or the semi groups by Udonam Hangaman. So uh, D can be extended to function of the state. Which we also I also write as T from K zero K to uh to Z. And uh now given this set of projections. Take also D. Um, in term of A. So Epsilon is greater than zero and D of the dimensions to solve it. Play plus defines uh, lower continuous. Function. I don't know. I'm not sure if I. Needed this. But okay, so you get a lower semi continuous dimension function. So, so set of quasi traces. Okay, so th this is, well, at least they have to check the details, but uh, I think this, this goes well. Okay, so I wanted to introduce. Uh, at the end, uh, the stabilized cool semi group, but then this I'll do it next day. Okay? Because uh, I have three minutes. Okay, so see you next time. <laughs>